Welcome back. Welcome to the stream. We're gonna continue working on the healer enemy today and uh, uh, do some new new UI and uh, smash some bugs. Um, yeah, but first we're gonna start with the um, we're gonna start with the with the recap. So uh, yeah, let's let's see what we've done the last time. So um, okay. So so last time um, the first thing that we've done it was a it was a thing for 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 last stream actually for, from the yeah actually past two streams. So we have added a uh, a way of uh, or, or we we have, we have added uh, yeah a way a way for the player to 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 get rewards after after each level and uh, we were able to set uh, to set this up from the so if you're going to the to the level itself um here you are able to to see to see the editor and and modify stuff, but you were not able to to see the, the the same fields when you were in the in the in the levels editor. So that's one thing that we've done. Um, the second thing uh, it was related to to damage in general. So we've created a, a way of um, or we've we've created uh, those those uh, damage types uh, objects. So it's just a simple mono behavior, uh, not mono behavior, a scriptable object. My bad. Um, that you can use, and actually you have to use whenever you deal damage to to another, either either the tower or the or, or an enemy. You have to specify what kind of uh, what kind of, uh, what uh, what kind of damage that is, because there are some. Um, there are some enemies in the game that uh, will be able to take damage only from certain uh, certain weapons or powers that the user have. So yeah, we've implemented the system for for uh, yeah, knowing in the in the code uh, what type of damage uh, that is. And then uh, we've um, continued with uh, or we've uh, expanded the, 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 the number of enemies that we have in the game. So previously there, there was only one type of enemy and that type was, uh, yeah, it, it was a generic enemy and we've expanded on that. And now we have four, um, four types of enemies implemented. Uh, there are the... Yeah, the the generic ones, which are the 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 the, the, the small, medium, and big, uh, which are like you know the the troops, the soldier. They are not special in any way. I mean, the 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 big enemy just has a lot of health, but is very slow. The medium has medium stats, and the small enemy is very fast, but has a small amount of health. And the fourth one that we've implemented is the flyer, and the the difference for the flyer is that uh, he can be damaged only by certain types of uh, of weapons or powers, and that's why we've implemented the the damage type. And we can actually see them. So if we play the game, we should be able to to first see the the the, the flyer enemy. Well, if the game would start that is uh okay yeah now it's gonna work i'm pretty sure no it's not what why is it not working there is a game manager what why doesn't the game manager start a game What the hell is going on here? Okay. This is weird. Uh, let's look at the loader. 
actually let's look at those should add some, some variables for those found objects 14 and loaded objects 13 there's something that is not loading what the hell What? What the hell is going on here? Obviously, when I, when I want to show stuff, it is gonna go crazy. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. I have no clue what's happening here. Let's uh, clear the history here. Let's try again. I want to see if those values do to appear here. Yes, they do. Hey, and oh, there is an error. No, this is from console pro. No warnings, no nothing. Can check scene. Yeah, we don't care about that. What the hell? Uh, T loadable. Let's just see which one is not loaded yet. I mean, that's a Wait, there are a lot of them which are not loaded. Oh, 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 someone is missing a, a root. Oh, 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 oh. Some stuff is happening here. Okay, okay, we have some errors. I mean, obviously there are, there were some, some problems, but uh, let's just look. So, so the big enemy, uh, what's going on here? So it has the root, everything is set up here. So this should theoretically work. Okay, so big enemy seems fine. Let's go to the flyer. Let's look at the flyer. This seems fine. Let's look at the medium. Okay. A small. It looks fine too. What the hell is going on? Um, I don't get it. Every word, level expansion, or tower expansion. Some more behavior apparently. Um, yeah. What the hell is going on? I mean, I'm gonna touch a debugger and start looking into what's happening with it. The weird part is that. For for cases where where uh, stuff is not loading, I do have a, a timeout in the editor, so I should get some errors. If something's not working, I should get an an, an error saying that I don't know the the entity X has not loaded in ten seconds. Um, okay. I was planning to work on the. On the healer, but apparently, uh, 
Okay. Let's see. Um, let's go to the uh, basic loader, I guess. And Okay, let's get here, I guess. Let's look at, at what loadables does he find. And... Let's put a... Okay. This should do it. Okay, so there are, okay, see, so he found 14 loadables. Let's look, just skim through them and see, see what's here. Nothing very interesting in here, to be honest. Uh, Yeah, that does make sense. Okay, now let's get out of here. Okay, so last index to load is equal to this. No. So now, oh, that means that the last, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Something's not right here. Well, let's put a breakpoint there, even though we're not gonna hit it this round. We have to do it again. Has been destroyed, but still. Whatever, whatever. I don't care about that. Our builder. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's play again. Okay, we fit that. We fit this. We do have a concurrency of 20, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so one of the, let's put, wait, why is this not, oh, okay, it was paused, never mind. Okay, let's uh, do some stuff here. So, low billables that wear L L. Let's look at uh, at all those that are not loaded yet. Um, let's do a two array at the end, just to. Okay, so there is the tower builder. The tower builder is not loading. Why would the tower builder not load? Well, actually, there are a couple of things that would make it not not load. Oh. Huh. But okay. Oh, 
Okay, at least we know what to look for. So the tower builder is what we what we need. Let's look at it. I think it's down here. So load phase. Oh oh oh! I don't want to click on anything. Oh come on! So we want to build, yeah, and this should do the trick. So something in build doesn't work. Okay. I'm gonna put a. Let's remove those. Actually, let's remove this as well. Let's skip over. Wait a second. I th Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, it worked? What? It just took like a long time. What? What the hell is going on? But I I've definitely seen something. I saw the what the hell? Um, just trying to access this. Okay, so let's let's look a bit of uh, at where does this come from? Can can we even see where this is coming from? Not really. Not really. Something is hanging here and. Okay, let's go into the expand method. So we're here. Count of this. We don't know anything. So if this is equal to this, which it is, we're going to generate modules. Okay. That sounds fair. Okay. Let's go inside of this. Uh, generate modules, please. So the size is five, and the start module is the straight module. Sure, that's that's okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, size minus. Yeah, sure. Let's get into this, but I think. Yeah, there's, there's nothing, everything is uh, synchronous here, so we don't actually care. Possible modules, three, and then we get a random one. Okay, let's get out. Let's get out of this as well. So we've generated the modules. Then we go into spawn tower. Uh, mm, no. Yeah. So zero stuff here. There's a list of tasks. That's that's fair. Okay, so we're gonna put a uh, uh, a breakpoint here. We are going to where is spawn module async? We're gonna put a module here and one here yeah I could yeah the one thing that I'm that I'm concerned uh, the, the the assets might not load the, the, the prefabs okay so let's continue okay whatever. Yeah, you're doing stuff. Okay. Now, so now we have five tasks here. We
there's nothing yet done there. Okay, so we're gonna hit resume. And now nothing happens. We're not hitting those points. Okay, so... The problem seems to be somehow related to... Wait, is there one that doesn't have... No, they all have references to... Uh, is it something weird in the... Addressable thing is here, groups. Uh, default group. Nope, everything seems to be here. Combine split straight helix and parallel. So, what the hell then? I don't I don't get it. What does it take so long to nothing weird here? The hell then. Um, now that I've exited it, 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 it entered this. What? Really? What the fuck? Wait. But is it? But it says that it. Why? It says that it has the result, <laughs> but it's never activated. It's activated now that I'm out of it. And yeah, that's why we have the, the errors. Uh, not set result. I mean, kind of set result, but yeah. What the hell? Yeah, now it's throwing errors like crazy because you can't it tries to spawn things, but... Okay, uh, I am blaming Unity. I am going to restart Unity. And while that is loading, let's... Um... Where is it? Uh, yeah, not here, week 25. Yeah. Actually, let's let's look at it. Anyway, uh, while that is loading, yeah. So uh, those are the tests that we're gonna work on today. Um, hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna be able to to do them all. Uh, we'll see. Um, the, the the biggest one is uh, finishing the, the the healer enemy. We started working on it. Uh, we hit a point where we needed to do a refactor. And I was really not up to it uh, last week, so yeah, we have to do we have to do first a refactor in the code, and then uh, we should be able to to create the the healer enemy. And after that, what else? Um, there are a couple of bugs that we have to that we have to fix. They're kind of all over the place, but uh, yeah, they're. They're gonna uh, help out uh, a lot in the in the long run. After that, we're gonna make another weapon. So I'm just basically gonna duplicate the the, the projectile weapon and just make it a, a little bit stronger. Uh, it has uh, this spear weapon. It does have a, a special ability, uh, which is uh, but but it, but we have to see if we're gonna actually do it or. 
so for now we're not gonna we're not gonna implement it but uh, the the idea for the spear is that uh, it's gonna it's gonna work like a crossbow except except that the fact that um, the, the 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 shots are gonna are gonna take a lot longer to yeah there's gonna be a, a bigger delay between between shots uh, but um, the 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 thing that it does uh, like it's it's special power let's say is that it can knock out um, enemies from the tower so even even if it uh, doesn't kill the enemy it can just uh, shoot it and throw it off the uh, throw it off the tower so that's uh, that, that that's uh, that's what we're playing as a special ability for this we'll see if we're gonna do it but for now, we're just gonna make a projectile weapon, which is um, slightly, po slightly more powerful, and uh, it has a lower uh, um, fire rate, uh, a smaller fire rate. Yeah. And lastly, we're gonna work on the UI for the weapons. So. Um, what we want with this, yeah, you, you will be able to, to upgrade your weapons, and um, yeah, this is the this is gonna be like the, the UI that that's gonna appear when you click on a weapon, and uh, yeah, it's gonna show you what the, what the weapon can do, its stats, and uh, uh, you're gonna you're gonna be able to to upgrade it and uh, or uh, uh, do some other modifications to the weapon. And uh, the actual task in which we we do the the, the upgrade uh, functionality for the, for the weapon. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see if this works now. The behavior was really weird. So I'm. Nope. Still doesn't work. What? I'm. Very confused. Why it doesn't work? Because it was working uh, last week. I haven't changed anything since last week. So what the hell? This should be grayed out while in plain mode. Anyway, uh, what the hell? Group settings proof. Uh, event viewer. Let's look at this. Uh, oh. Pressable asset settings. Let's search for that. It will be around here. Pressable settings. Send profiler events. There we go. Let's play.
there's no complete event for for our assets. If I understand this correctly. I mean, I see stuff about uh, localization, but nothing about the the assets that we just wanted to, to the, 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 the tower modules. Um, What the fuck is this? What do you mean you can't fight? Uh, apparently I have to have this open when I Why is it like frozen or something? What the hell is going on? Wait, what? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. I know why why this is Oh my god, it's so retarded. So when I play the game goes into into pause automatically because uh, error pause is active. Oh my god. And if I uncheck, oh my god, I've just spent, what the fuck, I just spent more than half an hour on this. Yep, everything fucking works. Welcome to game development. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, so as, as, I, as I was saying like half an hour ago, last time I've worked on on some new enemy types. Um, uh, so so this is uh, the, this purple one is the the, the flyer. Uh, I mean, obviously it has a it has a um, placeholder graphics, and this whatever sphere with the with the glowing thing uh, this will be the healer um, yeah 
and uh, if we speed this up and get to the next wave we're gonna see the um, the other enemies as well so those are the small enemies very fast but very uh, with, with low health those are the medium ones and these are uh, our big boys which are the um, the, the, the big enemies there's are mostly like you know tanks with a lot of health but uh, but they're very very slow i mean uh, this is they are they, they look fast now now because we're uh, we're doubling the speed but they actually move like this uh ignore the the, the fact that it's uh the very um yeah it's not the, the movement is not smooth this is one of the bugs that we're gonna fix today but yeah those enemies are very very slow Okay, so yeah, this is basically what we've worked on uh, last time, and yeah, we're gonna start a day um, with uh, with continued uh, continuing with the with the healer. Um, yeah, I'm expecting for this. I think I'm, it's gonna take an hour for for the refactoring and then uh, doing the actual thing for it and making sure it works okay. The spear weapon it should be uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna say 20 minutes because maybe I'm gonna do some 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 different uh, graphics for it. Uh, um, weapon UI. This might take uh, uh, probably an hour. And the weapon upgrade functionality, this might be fairly quick um, because we have a lot of stuff done uh, from the from the actual upgrades, the, 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 the from the passive upgrades. So that should should go go really quick. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna start with the with the healer. So let's track the time and do, 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 here. And let's see. So. Okay, so so the refactoring that we have to do is the, the following. So uh, let's close some things in here. So we have actually where do we have that weapon detector? Uh, so this is the the new thing. So oh yeah, so I made the uh, yeah this is the the weapon detector is the thing that we're gonna or or the thing that we want to make. Uh, but there is another thing which is called an enemy detector, and maybe it's here. I'm not entirely sure. It might not. It might not be here. Uh, no, it's not. So I think it's in uh, in the in the weapons. In the runtime, yeah, enemy detector. So we have this, and the problem with the enemy detector is that, I mean, it's not not really a problem, but. Um, for the for the healer, uh, we're gonna need uh, both a way of detecting a weapon and detecting the enemies. And currently, we can't use both uh, both of uh, so 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 because of how the enemy detector is is written right now, I can't have a weapon detector and an enemy detector on the same uh, entity. And that is because the enemy detector has has this thing. No, not this thing. Uh, wait, where is the? Wait. No, yeah, yeah. This is part of the part of the problem. Yeah. So. We have this uh, this line renderer used for for weapons. Let's actually uh, open a weapon so so we can uh, more easily visualize it. So let's look at the laser weapon. So yeah, uh, let's disable gizmo. So we have this line renderer, which is uh, yeah, it, it's basically displaying what's uh, the the area in which the enemy will be targeted by the weapon. And um, yeah, th th this is fine if you want to have. An entity which has an, an enemy detector, but if I want to have an, a weapon detector as well, 
that is not going to work because maybe sometime in the future I, I want an entity which has only only a weapon detector, not an enemy detector. So I'll have to have the same functionality of of drawing the, this radius, this uh, yeah, this this uh, this line renderer for the weapon detector as well. So because because the the, the code is already uh, inside the enemy detector. This this part, which which updates the the, the points uh, on the on or the points in the line renderer, um, we can't we can't duplicate it in the weapon detector as well without adding some kind of some kind of if uh, statement inside of it. Like uh, uh, if if I have a line renderer, I'm gonna add the points. Otherwise, I'm not gonna do it because that would be that would be stupid. We always want to display the the radius, but having the code in, in both detectors would make it uh, uh, a bit weird because obviously we don't have, we don't want to have two line renderers and um, we don't want to um, share the same line renderer because maybe the, the the detection radiuses will be different between the between the weapon and the enemy okay Yeah. So now with this out of the way, what we want to do is I want to um, I want to make a class which is um, I want to make an abstract class which is gonna have a uh, part of the functionality of the of the enemy detector, which is uh, I think this. So this part is gonna is gonna be uh, put in the in the in the abstract class because uh, because the, the, this this will uh, also be necessary for the weapon detector. So I want to share as much code as possible. Uh, and then both the enemy detector and the weapon detector are gonna are gonna be um, extending this uh, this new abstract class. And lastly, we're gonna we're gonna move the code this uh, this part of the code, which uh, um, um, what do I wanna say? Um, yeah, draws. I mean, not draws, but updates the line renderer with the, with the points. Um, I wanna move it to a separate class, so. Um, we maybe 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 we don't want to to have a line for the because actually no in the case of the uh, of the of the healer enemy even though we're we're gonna use a weapon detector we won't we won't want a a, a line renderer uh, saying the, the the radius in which it detects the weapon because it it's gonna be something internal to to the to the to the healer he needs to know about the weapons for for its functionality to work. Uh, but uh, but the player doesn't care about that um, doesn't doesn't need to see, to see the radius but for the for the for the enemy detector we will need to, to, to see the to see the radius because after the the healer enemy uh, uh, sticks sticks to the tower this uh, healing aura is gonna appear and uh, obviously we'll want to uh, to see the uh, the you know area of effect of the of the of the of the healing healing powers of the enemy i guess i don't know so yeah th those are going to be the steps that we're going to follow so yeah uh, as i said first we're going to start with uh, we're gonna make this uh, abstract class, which is gonna be actually I don't know what is what is going to be. Um... Object detector. 
gonna be public abstract abstract class this uh, it's gonna have uh, this um, it's gonna extend it's gonna be an entity component uh, it is going to have data so let's make a data component for it uh object object detector data is gonna be also abstract and it's gonna be entity data and here we're gonna have a t a t data t data uh, where t data extends this let's import this okay so so when we extend the object detector we have to specify the data and the data is going to be uh it's also going to be a uh a derived class from the object detector data class because we're, we're going to have also some properties that are going to be uh uh here in the that will be common between the detectors Okay, so let's see what what is gonna be. So so for sure we're gonna need the radius. Uh, we don't care about this. We're gonna care about the collider. Let's just uh, let's uh, let's also just uh, move them. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna need that as well. So let's just put it here, and let's just put it yeah like this. As I said, we'll need a collider. Let's move this helper function as well. And is there anything else that we need? Uh, global tower data, probably not. Maybe we're gonna need this. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need that. Um, yeah, we're gonna need this. Now let's just import everything like so. Uh, these are not going to be enemies, enemies in range. It's going to be objects in range. And that's kind of it. And now uh, let's move over the, this code as well. So we're going to have the filters, add remove filters. Yeah, we're going to have that. And this, this should do it. So now let's uh, change some stuff here. So first, this is objects in range here as well. And here, uh, calculate closest enemy. No, we're not going to do that. We are not going to have this filter. We're only going to use the filters uh, here. I mean, the, the, the defined filters in the list. Um, private bool
yeah so i'm thinking if we can actually optimize this instead of using this true for all but uh this might be like a small thing to do uh so it might not be uh, that uh, relevant right now but i'm thinking uh let's just rename it like this so So right here, I go to all the filters and if any of them is false and negate is going to be true. So if any of it is, is going to be false, I'm going to return true. And my, my thinking is that for, for, for this to work, for this true for all, um, you have to go through all of the filters. But for this, theoretically, it's, the, 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 first one, the first one that is going to encounter that is, uh, that is not okay, it should stop there and not check the rest. So I'm going to use this actually, yeah. Okay, we might not actually need this, but it uh, doesn't matter. Um, those are gonna be no, no, they have to be public. I'm also gonna make a protected um, uh, abstract void on enter. And on exit, enter. Uh, actually, I'm gonna pass in the the game object. Exit game object on enter game object. Okay. And the load phase, we are gonna uh, want to have a load phase here. Yeah, we'll see, because we, 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 we do need to do some things in the in the load phase, um, at least for the uh, enemy detector. We want to add a, a we want to add a filter, uh, but we'll see how we can do this. Should be able to override it again. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we will see. For now, it's okay. So yeah. So we have this. So now, theoretically, we should be able to make our weapon detector. Uh, we have to get rid of some stuff here. We're not gonna have the line. Not no collider. We're gonna have the weapon uh, layer, and I think that's it. So here, instead of uh, extending the entity data, we're gonna extend the object detector data. And in the weapon detector, instead of entity component, we're gonna say object detector this. And now he tells us, okay, we need to implement those two um yeah whatever uh i'm not gonna do this or no we do oh yeah yeah no so yeah we do want to do something in the load phase um is it base yeah load phase yeah okay and i want to do something here so add filter 
and I don't know what filter uh, I'm gonna add. I have to, yeah, I'm gonna do something like like this or similar to this. So uh, D dot not enemy layer weapon layer is enemy and this is not gonna be layer but it's gonna be game object go and it's gonna be go dot layer okay is weapon okay and on the stroy we're gonna say uh remove filter is whoa 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 whoa, whoa. is weapon Okay. So now I think we have our weapon detector. Okay, uh do we need to do something here? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. But this might be our weapon detector uh, done and ready for testing. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go to our healer. Oh, hello. Um, uh, I'm working on a tower defense game. Um yeah so so it's a it's a tower defense game with um with the twist that you're playing on an actual tower instead of a flat map let me let me show you hopefully it's gonna work uh yeah should work so let's maximize this. Yeah, so this is the, the, the playing field and you can add uh, weapons. Um, currently this one is very overpowered, but uh, but yeah, you, you, you have a tower and uh, you can, uh, or you, you are able to play and uh, place weapons on, on the actual tower. And uh, the, the idea is that the, the enemies try, try to reach the, the top of the tower. But yeah, this is the basic idea of the game, and you'll be able to to go indefinitely upwards. Um, so after after you finish uh, the waves of a level, you'll be able to to expand the tower and get a new piece of the tower to to, to play on. So this is our idea of uh, having a different uh, um, having a different um, map for each level. So let's wait for, for this guy to die as well. So yeah, now I have a, uh, a an expand tower button. And if I go real quick to the top of the tower, if I click on this, boom. I have a new piece of the tower to, to play on with uh, yeah different modules. It, it looks different. Like for example, yeah, here the, 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 the path has been split into two. So yeah, it actually it looks kind of boring, but Yeah, basically this is the idea. It's it's a standard tower defense game with uh, with this uh, with this uh, with this idea that you you play on the on the tower itself or on a tower, and you can go you can go around the tower.
Thank you. Um, yeah, and right now what I was working on, it is a uh, different type of enemy that we're going to have, which is, uh, it's not going to do damage, but instead uh, it's going to heal, uh, heal other enemies. Yeah, every, every, everything related to graphics is uh, work in progress. Yeah, I'm only, uh, I myself, I'm only working on, on the programming for the game. But yeah, everything is, uh, is work in progress. We're still working on the, on the foundation of the game. What do, you, what do you mean by kind of towers? So the idea is that um, the, the, the towers are built from, from modules. So let me show you. So for example, let's look at, this is the most interesting that we have right now, but everything is work in progress. Those are just for, for testing purposes. But, but the idea is that uh, the, 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 the tower is built from, from those pieces that we can uh, stack on top of each other and create different uh, uh, different uh, yeah different towers uh, each time. So, so, so every time you play you're gonna have uh, um, a different looking tower. Ah, you mean weapons. Uh, yeah, um, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we we have this this big tower in the game, uh, sometimes it's confusing uh, uh, coming from a yeah. If someone comes from a from a tower tower defense game perspective, yeah, um, yeah, because 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 we 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 call them weapons instead of towers because uh, yeah, it, it's confusing calling the 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 things that you place to to defend uh, also call them towers. But yeah, um, yeah. So currently, there are only two types of uh, two types of towers or, or weapons. Um, so you might have seen them because I because I placed them. Um, they are more planned, but currently there are only two. So so the first one is the the projectile one. So it's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, it shoots projectiles, and the other one is the laser. Uh, currently, um, currently we, uh, uh, we, we only have the, those two ones, but as I said, there are, there are more, more planned in the future. Um, uh, there's another one that, uh, that I'm going to work, uh, most probably today on, uh, which is a, a different type of, uh, projectile weapon. Yeah, nothing is balanced in the game, so don't take anything that that you see right here as as final. Uh, we're quite a long way from from having something that is that is final. Um, so yeah, yeah, we, we we still have to do do a lot of balancing for for this, and there are tons of bugs. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, there there's gonna be. Um, Currently planned, there are five types of uh, of weapons or, or or towers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so there's uh, this this projectile is gonna be split into two. So it's gonna be a crossbow and uh, another one which is called spear. And uh, and we're probably gonna work on the spear today uh, uh, towards the the end of the stream. And the spear uh, was that about? Uh, it it is similar to the crossbow in in, in the sense that it's gonna yeah, it's gonna shoot spears. Um, but uh, the, uh, the, the the its special power is that it can knock out enemies from the tower. So it's gonna have a a, a very a very slow reload time for the weapon. But uh, you're gonna have like a percentage of instead on top of doing damage, you'll also be able to to knock an enemy off the tower. So you don't necessarily necessarily have to kill him. He might just uh, be knocked out of the tower. And the yeah so so crossbow spear uh, then there is the laser which is 
kind of self-explanatory is going to be a laser, which is going to deal damage uh, over time. And there are two more, which uh, which is a flamethrower and which also also deals damage, but uh, uh, over an area. And uh, there is another one, which is called the pump, which is going to basic, basically just throw some uh, sticky liquid on the tower and uh, it's going to make the the enemies uh, move slower th uh, through through that part. Uh, I, I don't know if the, the if the crossbow is gonna push them back. Yeah, not 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 sure. No, we haven't discussed this. Uh, we, we we just know for right now that the the, the spear is gonna have this uh, this special ability where it's gonna knock. Uh, it it has a percentage of of knocking the uh, the enemy off the tower when when uh, when it gets hit. What do you mean by uh, what you should make? What uh, what are you referring to? Oh, you're a game developer? Oh, so you're using uh, by by blueprints. I'm assuming you mean the the ones from uh, from Unreal Engine, or or what? Unity blueprints. Ah, you mean the the, the new visual scripting? Then uh, I don't think I have them in in here, but but yeah, I know what you mean. The uh, yeah the the the, the built-in visual scripting tool that Unity now has. Yeah, if you're if you're at the beginning, I I I think you should do something really small, like uh, yeah, something very basic. So so you learn the you learn the, the yeah the basic stuff. Um, Something like uh, I don't know if you know Pong, but that's like a Pong game. This would be like I I know it might not seem very exciting, but uh, this is like the 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 burst the, like like the best first game that you could make if you if you're starting to learn. So it's very basic, but. Uh, yeah, here's gameplay. Gameplay. So you have basically two players, and you're trying to to bounce this this ball from one place to the other and try to to, to score uh, points by by making the ball go past the the enemy, or the not the enemy but like the other player. So like this is the the most basic game that you could make, and I'm really encouraging you to to do something uh, as as simple as this at the beginning. Let's, um, what were we? We're looking at the healer, I guess. It's epic here. Nice. Yeah, so we're looking at the, uh, we're trying to look at the healer. Uh, 
I mean, you you can do whatever you want, but um, what I'm trying to say with by by by, by doing pong uh, is try to do a simple game first. Don't just uh, uh, go and try to do like uh, I don't know. Maybe you like uh, GTA Five and yeah, you you can do GTA Five, but you're not gonna do it. Realistically, is not possible. So. The idea is to, if you're at the beginning, try with something small, um, and um, yeah, do do small projects like maybe do do a pro like a small game in a weekend or in a week. So you can do like a lot of them and uh, and learn uh, learn the the basics and yeah, just gain uh, experience really fast with uh, with making games. Don't just go to to a big project and start working on that. I mean, Pong is an example. Uh, another another example for for a simple game is um, um, what what is the name of that game? Um, Flappy Bird, yeah. Flappy Bird is a is a is a is a simple game to make. Yeah, I, I wouldn't consider a MOBA uh, a simple game to make, even if you're not doing multiplayer. So if you're at the beginning, I, I mean, I don't want to uh, discourage you from doing it, but uh, yeah, I would, I would uh, advise against doing a, a MOBA as a, as a first project. Because even if you take the, the the multiplayer part out of it, there there are a lot of things you, that, that that you have to do, and yeah. But again, I'm I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's gonna take you a lot of time. And also. If you're if you're doing like a, a complicated game, making it um, uh, making making everything in in uh, um, uh, using uh, visual scripting, that might not be the most performant game that that it could be. I mean, for small stuff, visual scripting is okay, or even in big projects. But for very specific cases, visual scripting is okay. But making a, a whole game using uh, visual scripting, it might not be that performant. Yeah, you just just by seeing AI, like doing enemies that are, you know, playing by themselves, that's gonna that's not a that's not an easy thing to do, unless you 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 buy assets or or, or libraries that do do it for you or do most of the most do most of the work for you, but. Doing that from scratch, yeah, that's gonna take a while. It's gonna be kind of hard to to learn, so because because you need the the, the 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 basic knowledge for everything. So yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's kind of a general term, but for for your specific case, for for a MOBA, um, I don't know, thinking of. What minions? Let let's take minions, which are, I don't know, going from point A to point B, so from your base to the other player base, and then whenever I don't, I think whenever they encounter a tower, they start shooting. 
yeah, it's not the most easy thing to do. You have to think, to take into consideration that they, that they have to move, so they, they shouldn't move through objects. Uh, they should know when an enemy is near. They should start fighting with an enemy when it's in their uh, attack range and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then maybe you wanna do it. Uh, you wanna you wanna make the enemies like the I don't know how do you call them the the the, the, the main characters from the other team. Make them also have an AI and play it by themselves and. Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Things not right here. Actually, no, three seventy five. Eight. I'm not. I'm not very familiar with mobas. I, it's it's a it's a type of game that I don't really like. But what are you selling in a moba? Don't you make money by killing enemies? Or is this like a a meta game stuff? You what something that you do outside of the of the actual, you know? playing game I don't know okay yeah you can buy stuff but oh okay okay oh yeah I I, I, I missed the the, 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 the the comment in which you said about the merchant 
yeah, that might be. I mean, yeah, now uh, the, the the loop seems simple, but um, what does what does travel mean? It's just like a button that you press and you just the game just puts you in another in another location, or does it imply something that you have to do? the actual traveling between locations or stuff like that you know that should do it okay save back uh, and let's do this as well uh, let me pro this capital collider one height of three maybe okay two with a one Yeah, that should do it. Um, oh yeah, I'm looking on the rigid body. Okay, so I have so all the. Uh, yeah, I know it does make sense. Yeah, now I'm gonna put the. Oh, actually, I haven't put the layer. Never mind. I've only made the, the, the collider, but I have the layer. Yeah, no. So, so this whole thing is gonna be. Uh, oh, weapon. Yes, and all children. Uh, does this have? Oh, it doesn't have a rigid body. Let's attach a rigid body. I guess it's gonna be kinematic. No, uh, not this. Uh. Yeah, that should do it. Do I need rigid bodies? Attach rigid body. No, I don't want rigid bodies. Fuck this shit. Okay. I'm gonna do the, 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 the following thing. So I'm gonna look if I have a rigid body. I can do this, right? Nope. So if I have a rigid body, I'm gonna get the game object. Otherwise, I'm gonna take this. Uh, this if this is not null, what's the problem here? Repeated property access building company. Okay, sure. I mean, 
you can if you mean by by coming to to the to the stream you can come whenever you want so um i have actually learned uh uh working in in, in uh, unity by by watching a, a dude making his own game so yeah um that really helped me um a couple of years ago when i when i started working with unity what the hell why is it not uh seeing the because it's not a trigger dummy this is not a trigger Let's put another weapon somewhere. Let's say here. Let's pause. Okay, healer. Uh, object in range. We should get something right about. Hey, there we go. But that 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 did not work as I as I wanted it. So the weapon is not actually in contact with the. With this collider, the 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 whole thing is yeah okay. So my my initial idea was correct actually. So this should not all be a weapon. It's okay to be default. Only the model itself it should be a weapon. Okay. Do the same for projectile. So this is not gonna be a weapon. This is gonna be on default layer. Uh, but this is gonna be a weapon. Yes. Okay, play. Uh, let's put the weapon here. Stop, 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 stop. Let's select. Come on. Ah, it's the, the, the canvas, it's in the way. Okay, so we have this, the healer selected. So let's look at objects in range. And let's wait for it to to show up here. So it should not appear when we touch this. So it's not here. But yep, now it's in there. So if you look at it this way, the the weapon is inside of this uh, this area, uh, like this. So yeah, we have projectile. Well, but then this is not right. Mm. I don't like this. Uh, I mean, I know what I can do. I can get the... Or actually, do I care? No, for the objects in range, actually, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe I need the the object on which the entity root is uh, is uh, is available. But actually, I don't care about that. If I need the if I need the entity root, I'm just gonna get it. So that's not a problem. And if it needs to be there, I can put another filter. But uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Another thing that I saw, um, I game object, get object, from collider, I'm going to move over uh, this logic, look here. And re return. Uh, 
uh, other. Okay, and do the same thing here. Cool. Well, okay, so we have the weapon detector. We have the weapon detector and it's working. Um, I think the only thing that we need is some kind of event. So let's do a public event um, system action. Game object. Uh, on weapon enter and on weapon exit. In the load phase, I'm gonna say null to this. Uh, on weapon exit, null as well. And I just call them in here. So on enter, invoke uh, with the game with the game object. On weapon exit, invoke game object. Um, if you don't have a, so, so if you don't have a rigid body attached to the, to the same game object as the, or, or a parent of the, of the collider, of the capsule collider, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be affected by physics, but if you do have, uh, there is an option on the, uh, let's see. No, uh, on the enemies I do have rigid bodies. So there's an option on the rigid body, which is uh, is kinematic. And if you check this, or actually you might not want it to be kinematic, but if you uncheck the the use gravity, it won't fall. Or if you want it to fall, but you know have like a like a ground plane, you have to make like a plane. So so the so the so the capsule doesn't doesn't fall. But if you don't want gravity, this is what you need to uncheck. It falls when it walks. Maybe maybe the the thing that it walks on doesn't have a collider. Not sure. Without without, without knowing ex exactly what you're doing, I, I'm not entirely sure uh, why that is happening. Oh, you might not want it to rotate, maybe? Not sure. Uh, there is a way, constraints. You might want to freeze its rotation and only allow it to, to move on the Y axis. So only allow the, the enemy to move like this, but not the, not on the other directions. So it doesn't, like you said, trip. So maybe you have to check the the freeze rotation on X and Z. Maybe that's gonna help. I'm not sure. Oh, tell me it's not. Tell me you're not stuck. Please tell me you're not stuck. He's stuck. Ah, oh, hate it. Hate it.
me to kill Unity. What the hell I want to... Uh, I want this error to go away. How do I make it go away? Actually, I think I know how. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think I select something else. Yeah, let's try that. Actually, let's do play because it might trigger the. Well, it's gone. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we have the weapon detector. Now we need the, we need to, to do, to refactor the enemy detector as well. So it uses the, uh, this abstract class. Cool. Let's remove this and let's go to the data first so instead of entity data we're gonna say object detector data no collider no radius no no this uh no this okay and here we're gonna say Object detector. We have to implement those two methods. Okay, it's gonna be game object go go dot layer. Uh, Okay, I guess that should do it. Hopefully. Let's see if it still works. Oh, okay, it works. Yep, uh, we're still detecting enemies. Nice. Let's just double check that the data is correct on the component. Uh, enemy detector, so whatever. There is a radius, there is a layer, and there are stuff here. Cool. Uh, let's check the other weapon as well. This one. Fine. This looks fine as well. Cool. 
Okay, so we've almost done. We're, we're almost almost done with the refactor. Um, the, the 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 last thing to do is move out the this part of the code from the enemy detector and put it somewhere else. Uh, let's do something like detector renderer. Maybe we're gonna have private detector object detector. Uh, what do we need from this? The collider. Oh, so we actually need the data or the collider or the collider. Okay, so instead of uh, object detector, we're gonna get the data. Object detector data and private. Global tower data, global tower data. Let's get this. Paste. Oh, we also need the line, private line render line. Okay, this is gonna be a mono behavior, and this is gonna be execute execute in edit mode. What else? Select. Serialize field. And now I should be able to get rid of this. And those two. This. Cool. Now we have to go into each um, weapon, and on the enemy detector, uh, we're gonna attach this class as well. So it is a detector renderer. We're gonna get the data. We're gonna get the global tower data and the line renderer. Save this. But now we should be able to change this and yeah the line render changes as well so that is nice this was three actually i can undo right yeah cool so now in the enemy detector there's no more data related to the line cool now go back go to the other weapon as well uh check this yeah this looks fine detector render uh data uh, global tower data and the line renderer. Save. Let's try it. It works. Cool. So now I can go on my healer and actually. Hmm, this might not work actually. Uh, we'll see. Um, Detector radius, 
we're gonna get the data from there we're gonna get this and we need to create a line render so this would be an effect line line presets enemy detector yeah this doesn't work as i wanted it to work but can i do a minus 90 here yes i can So it's not gonna work actually. Ah, it might work when it's attached. Okay, let's see. Welcome back. Wait, oh, uh, I don't want to, I want this. I want my uh, test area. Then this looks cool but it's not correct okay this is almost ready Yeah, so it's not okay that this line rotates uh, with the enemy. It doesn't make sense for it to rotate. Uh, but I don't think it really matters. Okay, so yeah, so the, so the refactor is done. Uh, what I want to do now? Yeah, I'm gonna take a short break, and then uh, when I come back, uh, when I come back, we're gonna work on the. Um, you know the actual functionality of the of the healer so after it 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 it, uh, it passes a weapon it's gonna attach itself to the tower and then it, it's gonna try to heal uh, uh, all the enemies that that pass through its uh, you know uh, area of, of effect Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take a, a short break uh, and we're gonna, I'm gonna come back and continue to, to work on this. So see you soon. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue. So yeah, as I was saying, we, uh, we have to start working on the action functionality of the, of the enemy. So let's do that. Apparently, I've already started. I mean, I haven't done much in here, but I've done some things. So, we're gonna need a couple of things. So, first, uh, we're gonna need a. Let's see. As the uh, public float, um, Tab group tabs uh, dot base group tabs dot general tab. Okay, so we're gonna have heal rate 
we are going to have public, not stat, but link, yield rate stat. Then this might be it. I mean, I don't think there's anything else we need. Um, is there? Uh, let's. Uh, well, heal rate, heal rate stat. Um, yeah. Now for the other stuff, we're gonna need a reference to the uh, weapon detector. Yeah. Weapon detector and also public enemy detector. Enemy detector. Tabs. Come on. Ta uh, no, tab group. Group. Tabs dot uh, internal tab. No. Tabs dot base group but internal. Okay. That should do it for the data. And now in here. Yeah, first let's do it the dumb way. So the dumb way would be we're gonna look at the weapon detector and on weapon exit we're gonna do something. Weapon exit. Uh, we don't hear about the weapon. Um, hmm. So the thing is, I think we're gonna That's a good question. Hmm. Man, there are so many things to to actually to to. to. Hmm. So right here. So so the idea is that okay, we have the 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 enemy that's also following the path, and after it passes a weapon, so the the weapon. Where. Oh, well. Yeah, after it passes the weapon, it should stick itself to the tower, and then it should start healing the the other enemies.
Okay, we're gonna need a reference to, to another component. Public, I think it's enemy, no, yeah, enemy mo movement. Here, I'm gonna wanna stop it from moving. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna want something like public void uh, stop movement or a stop will be okay. This is going to be part of the internal tab, so public bool is, is stopped. It's going to be false by default. It is going to be read only. Oh, okay. If the if cannot update or the DRR is stopped. Stop is gonna come become true. Let's make this an expression body. So D dot uh, D dot enemy movement dot stop. Okay. We have to save this. So I have to go here. Actually. I have to go here. Now the distance by blah blah blah. I think this is the only thing that I want to save for this for now. But yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh, Okay. Then after it's stopped, I would like it, I'd like for it to next rotation. I'll do something similar to this, but um, so stop, then root that transform. Next is here plus uh, plus uh, vector vector three dot up. Uh, this is position map. Yeah. Look rotation. So uh, look rotation. What does he want? So what's the forward and what is the upward? Actually, forward is going to be this and upward. It's 
going to be all for this? No, I'm not sure. Let's try it like this. Uh, here. Uh, I don't want to set position. I want to set station equals to rod. And actually, let's not even save it in a variable. Let's just assign it directly like this. Let's try it like this. I don't know if I've attached this component to the healer, so let's check. Probably did not. No, it has a health, movement, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it doesn't have the healer. So healer data. Let's just put something here. It doesn't really matter right now. Internal, we have to attach some things here. So weapon detector, enemy. Oh, it doesn't, uh, we don't have an enemy detector yet. Uh, but we do have enemy movement, okay. Cool. Let's make that stat. Uh, so it would be project tower, link, healer, enem enemy, uh, heal rate stat. Uh, let's go to the definition and add it here as well. Save, back, let's play. This should work. So if I add a weapon somewhere, let's add it here. So it has entered and when it exits, well, it should have stopped. Well, it should have stopped. But it did not. Uh, but obviously, because we've attached the the data component, but not not this component. Okay, let's try it again. Let's do projectile again, so the enemy doesn't die. Let's put it there. Okay, and. Okay, that looks like shit, but it, but it's there, but it still dies. That's no no good. Um, yeah. Let's try it like this. This might work. Nope, no, that won't work either. Um, wait, no, it actually is this. <laughs> yeah, it actually is this. So it's transform, it's a uh, root that transform that position and this whole shenanigans. Yeah, it is that. Uh, and now I kind of wanted it as a, as a variable. Okay. It, it, I think it's going to work now. Weapon, 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 fast, 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 fast. There we go. One weapon. And I'm gonna pause it before it. Yep, it's settled. It has actually settled there. And the. Yeah, it should stay attached more to the tower, but. This is actually nice. Nice. I'm gonna do something here. Uh, I'm gonna revert something that I've done. 
So actually, I want the wait. But how do I do that? No, yeah. So I'm gonna remove this. I don't care about that. Save. I'm gonna say that the, the whole thing is a weapon. Sure. The same for projectile. Because I actually, uh, I actually want to know uh, when the enemy exits the. Remove compo. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Capture. Uh, yeah, remove component. Uh, I actually want to know when the when the enemy exits the uh, you know the the area in which it can be attacked by the weapon. That that's what I want to know. And actually, let's make that area smaller. So this should be uh, enemy det weapon detector. Yeah, this one. This can actually be way 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 smaller. And now that I think about it, uh, the, uh, I should not render the weapon detector but the enemy detector but whatever uh, it, it, it's fine for now yeah so this is gonna be like a, like a small radius it might be just one as radius doesn't really matter yeah it's gonna be a small radius uh, let's play because what we want to what we want to do is for for the uh, for, for the uh, healer enemy not to be attacked by the yep uh, that's that's what I want I don't want the the healer enemy to be attacked by the uh, by the weapon so I w I want to pass the weapon and right after it passed the weapon it should uh, uh, stick there to the tower i mean that's the basic idea we'll, we'll have to, to to do some tweaks but that's the basic idea of it okay um Let's make the enemy detector as well. Uh, yeah, create empty. Enemy detector, it has the data, that's cool. Let's add a uh, capsule collider. Detector enemy radius. Uh, let's not set the radius yet. Let's attach the collider. Let's do it like this. Uh, actually, the collider has to be uh, 20 units high. And I'm gonna move the um, uh, move the detector render on the enemy detector. And this is gonna be the wait 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 wait. wait. I need the data. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, let's do properties. Oh, no, let's do properties of this. And yeah, whatever. I need the weapon detector. Enemy detector. This. Okay. Now it's what I want. Save. And I'm, uh, I need to move the line render as well. Like this. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move the cone out of here. I'm gonna remove the sphere, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, that should do it. Actually, let's make the, the color. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not this color. Wait, why is this like another color? What material does it use? Heal an enemy crystal. Oh, this one. My bad. Let's make this uh, like some other color. Okay, six thousand. Let's do it like this. Come on. Ah, I hate it so much when it when it hangs like this, because I have to kill it. No, not expand. I wanted to kill it and dusk. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't kill anything. Project tower. Uh, one other thing that I want to do actually, let's go back to here. Let's look at the line. What material do I use? Enemy detector line material. Uh, let's no, let me get to this one. I want to duplicate it. Uh, it's actually copy paste, right? No, control D. I'm gonna move this to the healer. Killer. Okay, whatever. Let's attach it to the line. And now I can make it uh, also orange. FF6000. Oh, wait a second. Can I? Am I actually using the same? Oh, screw that. Uh, use the same material as the crystal. Where is? There we go. Uh, screw this. Detector line mat. Okay. Let's play. Ah, I don't want. I want the other. Uh, the other list. This one. Oh, nice. This looks very different. Uh, let's put a weapon. So he takes some damage. And then it stops there. He should attach uh, himself to the... Oh... Oh, it's still uh, it's still in the area. Uh, I guess he should continue for a little bit, maybe. Like wait for a, for for I don't know half a second. Maybe I don't know.
but actually the, the the other thing we might make it so the the healer doesn't take damage from the weapons and i might just do that oh because our our idea is that um we don't want the healer or or, or we want the healer to uh No, how, how should I say this? Yeah, we want the, 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 the player to kill the to kill the healer by using the powers, not the weapons. So if the if the if the healer manages to stick itself to the tower, it's your job as the player using your powers to kill it. That's uh so we might make it so that it the, the healer doesn't take damage from the towers. And it's your job to to find the healers uh, that are stuck to the tower and kill them uh, manually. Otherwise, they're just gonna heal the all the all the em enemies that pass uh, pass uh, through 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 him. One thing that I that I would like to do is is there a way to get uh, is a composite spline? I don't care about composite splines. I want to go to the spline itself. There is a method that I'm looking for. I don't know. Yeah, this one waypoint to position. I would like to have a a, a reverse uh, method, uh, a position to waypoint. Yeah. Position, path, three. There are a lot of things here that I don't care about. So I'm going to get the position. And I want out a vector. No, I want two floats float and float which is float angle and float uh, height that's radius angle yeah we don't care about this though we might care about this actually angle height yeah position and how do we want to do this um gonna return this uh the first the angle is gonna be maref atandoi then two um, position dot z and position dot x position dot y I think though I want to I might want to normalize the position do I want yeah Or do I want to normalize the position? No. No. Yeah, we don't care about normalizing the position. That, yeah, that that this is what we want. And Okay, so why do I want to do this? Uh, that's a simple, uh, there's a simple answer for that. So I want this equals to, or let's call it waypoint. I want to save the position.
on the root position i'm gonna do uh what is it tower utils that position to waypoint to root position and i want var new position which is gonna be tower utils dot waypoint to position uh, root position is gonna be vector 3.0 uh, path radius um, yeah we're gonna say something we're gonna get it from somewhere and then we need waypoint dot angle and waypoint dot height and now we have to revert back to set position and rotation new position and rotation okay and uh and now what's missing from here we have to change this 10 into something else and that something else is public global tower data global tower data d dot this dot radius that should do it maybe the radius plus a little bit let's see but something like this <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, so it's going, it's going, it's going. And it did nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to assign the, the value. My bad. So, healer data internal global tower data and yeah i'm gonna add a little bit to the radius actually so let's say 0 0.06 to 5 that might do it remove this boom see it now uh weapon Nice. Uh, we need to do some things here. Ah, there is value there. Yeah, let's make it so it so he, so he can take damage from 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 no one so remove laser damage and remove projectile damage whatever just do it like this and let's play whoa <laughs> okay, that was not good. Wait, why does it why does it take damage? Oh what? Doesn't make sense. Have I uh is it not angle and no the height seems fine. <laughs> 
yeah it's first angle then it's height Uh, let's look a bit at the enemy movement. Am I using a uh, local uh, rotation here? No. So I'm setting both position and rotation. Wait, what? Hmm. Yeah, because it doesn't matter actually. What the hell is going on here then? Yeah, I might need to use this here. Maybe doesn't really matter because I'm actually not modifying the position, but the, I mean, I'm modifying the position, but would still be okay. Actually, let's just attach the debugger. It's easier this way. And also, uh, on. let's just make this radius a little bit bigger. 1.5 should do it. Yeah. Actually, it's, I feel it's too much. 1.25, 1.125, sure. Play. What? Oh, leftover. Uh -huh. God, so many breakpoints. Okay, go, 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 go. Right there. Ah, yeah. I have to see why why he's taking damage. Didn't I put a... No, I did not. I'm stupid. Forgot to put a breakpoint there. Also, I'm gonna do this here. Okay. Uh, actually, I want the breakpoint here. Yeah, but, but getting back to the healer, why the hell am I taking damage? Have I not saved this? No, allowed. Ah, god damn it. I can't say that I don't want damage from anything. <laughs> Uh, I have to to to. Oh shit. Mm. Yeah, it does make sense. Okay, let's just allow only laser damage, so I can use my my projectile weapon to to test. But that has to change somehow. I don't know. I might make it so so you have to 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 write the the exact damage or the the damage types. Ah, uh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, happen. So it's in, it's not taking damage exactly as I wanted it to. Now it's out and we have a breakpoint. So hell yeah, it's in radiance instead of, instead of uh, degrees. And I, and I was thinking about that. I was thinking that I had to make it into into degrees, but I just forgot. So uh, rad to degrees. Yep.
Yep, that's more like it. And <clears throat> it just attached itself to, to the tower. Actually, let's let's look to it uh, through this. Yep, I mean it's almost attached because I because I put that, but yeah, no, it's fine. It is fine. Cool. So now the only thing left to do is to make uh, to make it heal uh, enemies that pass by, and that's gonna be the uh, the easy part, I think. Okay, so I actually need to know uh, if the if it should heal. Oh, uh, public bull uh, is active. Actually, let's copy this. Okay. And because I've done uh, I've done this active, I should save this. So ah, yeah. Uh, pub, uh, public. public? Actually, no. It can be private. Private struct. Struct serialize this is active. Fine, it has to be public. Shut up. Actually, no. Yeah, no, it has to be public. Okay. And now, Okay, so now this uh, is active is gonna be saved. Is it? Ah, and now it's the problem with the yeah. Um, I need to add a. And uh, and the. Quarter. Let's put it at the top. Entity importer. And now here's the problem that we have. So so what the entity importer does is yeah, it's it comes from the save and load system and all the comp all the entities that have this component are gonna be saved uh, when the game is saved. The problem is that we don't want to save a, a, um, a healer enemy if he's not attached to the tower. So... We have like two options. We make it so the entity importer can be disabled. Or, 
unnecessarily dis- yeah we have a mechanism to to disable it so even even if it's present on an entity it can say that no the entity doesn't want to be saved actually so don't take me into consideration or the other uh the other option is to uh To, to dynamically dynamically create this component and attach it to the entity when the, when the, the when the killer attaches itself to the tower so instead of having it on the on the enemy uh, we're gonna create it through code and attach it to the to the to the, to the killer enemy basically, basically like the killer is there it's not taken into consideration for the for the uh, load and save, but then when he attaches itself to the tower, he just uh, self promotes itself and makes it so he's available for for saving and loading. So yeah. Not sure. Uh, how we should do this? I mean, I c I can just not deal with with the saving and loading for now. Uh, for the for the healer, uh, but uh, yeah, the, 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 I have to to do something here. I don't know what. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the importer for now. Um, and Yeah, I'm gonna remove the importer. We're gonna do it some other time. I mean, I do have to make a pass through all, because because we have save game in the game, but we haven't actually properly tested it. I've just created stuff, so I'll have to do so, a pass on saving and loading some some time to 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 check that everything works correctly. Everything that is already built uh, works correctly. So. Yeah, for now we're not gonna do it. Uh, but what we can do is, yeah, do, do the functionality here. So um, I want an eye on update. Yeah, implement this. Okay, so if not the dot is active, uh, return, turn, the dot is active, uh, this is gonna be true here. And if it's true, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna say d dot enemy detector dot, we're gonna need a for each. Ah, god damn it. I'll need to make a list. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I need to make uh 
event for the enemy detector as well. So enemy detector on enter on exit. Um, actually, let's go to the weapon detector and copy those two. Like this. And after we calculate the closest enemy, we're going to say on enemy enter, on enemy exit, enemy on enemy enter, uh, down in book, pass in the game object. Enemy exit, book, game object. Okay, so what? Why do we need this? Uh, we actually we don't want to work with the with the game objects directly. We want to work with the. We want to work with the enemy health components from each enemy. So we're gonna cache the the references, so we don't have to do get component each time on on each update. So and um, enemies in range add enemy enemy dot get component in children health uh, enemy enemy health. Okay, and we're gonna do a similar one for enemy enter, enemy exit. We're gonna do remove, exit, exit, and let's remove it here. And now what we can do, we can loop a uh, loop, uh, loop through those. So for each Yeah, for for each enemy health, we're gonna heal him by d dot heal rate times time dot delta time. So that should be it, I think. Try to play. Whoa, 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 whoa. There are too many. Yeah, okay. There's something that I haven't done apparently. There's a reference missing. Yeah, enemy detector, enemy detector. Uh, is active should be read only. Oh, and also, uh, let's do the so enemy detector line is going to be a game object. So by default, we're going to that act uh, uh, d dot d dot this set active false and in here we're gonna set it to true so the idea being that uh, we we don't have this uh, this uh, this uh, line showing uh, before the enemy is uh, um. Before the enemy is uh, is attached to the tower. Let's try it now. Should work. And we have to be quick. So okay, we have the healer. Let's go to another uh, da, 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 here. So I put on the weapon. This is the healer. He's traveling. He looks stunning. 
So let's pause. Let's look at this enemy. Uh, actually, I have to go through here. So let's watch this enemy. What's happening to him? So we'll we'll watch his. Ah, oh, god damn it! I can't watch it because the the flying enemy doesn't take damage from the projectiles. Dang it. Uh, let's change this for a bit. So I'm gonna make it so the the flying enemy does take damage from the from the laser. Oh, from the from the projectile. So he's only allowed to take damage from the laser. Let's try it again. Actually, let's let's give us some more time between. Uh, between those enemies, player enemy. Uh, let's do spawn delay. Let's do ten seconds between them. So the the healer uh, has time to 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 settle and wait for enemies to appear or to come into the radius. Fast, fast, fast projectile here. He's coming, he's there, he attached himself. And now let's look for, okay, this is our first uh, flyer that's gonna come through here. So let's look at its its health. Let's play and hopefully he's not gonna die while he's inside of, of this. He's dead. God damn it. <laughs> he has to... Uh, his health is too low. Uh, let's uh, let's use the multiplayer system to make him very strong. So flyer uh, health stat multiplayer. Let's say that he has a lot of health. He should have like a lot of health now. Hopefully. But first, we have to take care of the flyer. Okay, here. That is actually better. Uh, let's do this faster. -la 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 -la. He's attached. Cool. Now let's get. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get to this one. Let's see how much health does he have. Only five. I haven't. Ah, oh, god damn it. I haven't made the. Shit. I haven't I haven't added stats to the enemy health component. God damn it. Um can I uh change the health? So yes I can. Base health we don't care about base health health. Oh there is a health stat. Oh apparently it doesn't work. Anyway, uh let's give him like a shit ton of health. Thousand Thousand, that should work. Uh, let's go back to the flyer, this flyer. Let's get out of debug mode. So he should have, no, oh, uh, normal. He should have a lot of health now. Yeah, a thousand health. So now let's watch and see what happens. So he's coming. He should start taking. Yeah, he starts taking damage, and nothing happened. <sighs> Nothing happened. Why? 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 Uh, so it could be that the healer enemy. No, it has enemy here, so he should be able to detect enemies. Should be able. Should be able. Um. What else then? There are so many things that could go wrong. So we know this is happening, so this will be true. Uh, we have to do a check here. We have to do a check here, I guess. Uh, 
Um, Yeah, let's try it again. Um, let's make the flyer very, very buffy. Uh, health. Oh, also something else. Have we set the Yeah, we set a heal rate, so 10 per second should work. Play. Okay. Obviously, there are no uh, enemies in reach. Let's let's put actually the the, the breakpoint there. Hey, there is no detection happening here. So let's look at the healer. The healer enemy has its... Victor. Got a trigger. Stop the trigger. That's a problem. Yeah, put the weapon there. Now speed this up like this. Actually, let's get uh, wait, let's pause, 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 pause. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a detection now, so I, I, I want to see the the thing happening here. Yep, we got a detection. Uh, let's make sure. Actually, who's the? Oh, it's actually the uh, the the root. So that's what we want. So if I do this, we should get. Yeah, we're getting the component. Nice. If I skip this now, we have an enemy in range. So ten, but um, multiply by whatever. Ah, another enemy in range. Yep. I don't know what's happening. So those in. God damn it! Stop it! Okay, so what I was, what I was trying to show was that uh, those enemies are fully healed now. So the the healer just killed them right back up while they were passing through I uh, got through its radius. Oh, so it works. I mean, the, the the basic version of it, at least. There are some things that we we have to work out, but uh, and we have to do. But but yeah, the the, the the basic version of it actually works. So that's nice. Um. What is left to do is we have to take this heal rate stat into consideration uh, and we also have to um, so so we're doing this when we act uh, when we exit uh, 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 yeah the, the 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 area of an uh, of a weapon. Uh, but we have to make sure that we're not inside another weapon. That's one thing that I that I'm that I'm thinking we should do. So, or maybe, yeah, or maybe not. We could be we could place an, a, a healer enemy right between two weapons. That that might be interesting though. Oh no, that would be interesting if we're not gonna make the the healer enemy take damage from weapons. 
because if, if if he if he takes damage from weapons, we should make it so um, he's always outside of uh, of the range of any weapon. Uh, so that's one thing. The the other thing that that we have to make sure is that on top of it not being in in uh, in uh, in the area of of uh, the area of attack of a weapon, we have to make sure there's no other. Uh, healer enemy in that spot where he is gonna stay so if there's already an enemy there he should say okay i'm gonna go to the to the next weapon so they're not gonna stack in a single place that would be that would not be okay yep so that's kind of it that's kind of what we have to what what's left to do here <laughs> Uh, I'm going to take another short break and we're going to continue with this. Uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue with this. Okay. So, yeah, what what was, uh, was I was saying? Yeah, so, so we need to take the, the heal rate into consideration. Or, or the heal rate stat in, into consideration. So... Um... Uh, what we're going to do is actually change this a bit. So we're going to have base heal rate and heal rate. This is going to be, uh, it's going to be read only. It's going to be hide in uh, editor mode. And this is going to be hide in play mode. And also, label text is going to be heal rate. Okay. And what we're going to do is here, we're going to say heal rate, uh, d dot heal rate is going to be equal to d dot base heal rate. And we have to see. We need to multiply with the. We need to multiply it with something. But I don't know with what. Uh, let's see. Um, what is a component that I have implemented this for? I think uh, the entity enemy movement should have this already implemented here. So D dot. Okay. So I need the reference to the wave manager. Okay. Let's get here. Public wave manager. Wave manager. So in in here we're gonna do d dot wave manager dot get multiplier for stat. And ah, we need the enemy definition. <laughs> So many things. Public enemy def enemy definition. No, I want enemy definition. Enemy de this one. Definition is gonna be d dot definition and d dot health rate stat. Now. Let's exit play mode. We're gonna get uh, go to the healer because we need to set up uh, its uh, health again or heal rate again. Um, so it's gonna say it's zero because this is actually the base heal rate. So let's say that he's he's able to heal with one HP per second. Okay, that's a very good. Thing. Thing. Let's do a uh, suffix label HP per second and true. Okay. Okay. So 
let's set uh, set up all the references. Yeah, so now it says here HP per second. So we need the wave manager. Actually, that's no, that's not all of it. Wait, uh, we also need the definition. Yeah, killer enemy. Uh, why is it not in the tab? Because I haven't put it in the tab. Yep. So to put them in the tab. Cool. And now we should be able to go to the levels editor here, flyer wave. And now we should be able to set the healer heal rate and say that we want it to be uh, we, we want to multiply it by 10. So now when we play, should be able to inspect the let's pause. Let's click on this and we should be able to see the, the, the heal rate uh, that is 10 right now instead of uh, yep, it's 10 instead of one as it, as it is uh, by default. Let's go quick and put the weapon somewhere. Let's put it here. Okay, so he has entered the weapon and right after he exits he attaches itself to the to the to the tower so now let's look at this um, let's look at the enemy so here uh, we're gonna watch its health so it's going down so 70 and then there we go just got back up to 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 full. Nice. Uh, let's make the uh, let's uh, revert the flyer to to its uh, original health. It had five health by default. Uh, Yeah, I have to add that back. That's right. Okay, no, let's make that change. So let's go on enemy health because we also have to modify some other things too. So let's go to enemy health, uh, health here. <laughs> it also has base health and stuff. So have I really not done that? Yeah, I haven't. Okay. Did that reset? Manager, get multiplayer for stat. Huh. This should work actually. So I'm not crazy. I did did I did do that. Weird. Yeah. So we're gonna get rid of this. You have to specify. Damage type allowed. Only if it contains type. Okay. Now uh, we have to say here that, yeah, we have to add back that only the laser can damage this. And on the healer, we have to say that there are no, nothing can damage it, or at least not the weapons. That, that would be the idea. Okay. Yeah, I have to, I have to look into the enemy health to see why it's not actually working, why this is not working. Actually, let's look at the... Let's look at the flare again. Maybe the, the, the wave manager is not set up, but I very much doubt it. So enemy health, internal. Oh, it doesn't have a wave manager. What? Why? It's also read only. Now, th that does make sense. 
but at the same time, why am I not getting errors? Oh, oh, yeah, I know. Okay. Um, I remember. This is a sign somewhere. Yeah, we should get rid of this. Enemy movement data. This sh we should get rid of this as well. Any enemy reward. Damn, so many so many places where we have to get rid of. Yeah. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. So enemy movement. I already had that open right. So enemy movement data. Uh, this is not read only. We will have to assign it ourselves. Um, enemy damage data. Also, we'll have to assign it ourselves. And uh, psh, shit, I, I forgot what was the the other one that I removed. Enemy reward data. Enemy reward data. This is not read only. So save this, and we'll have to go through all the all the enemies and assign those 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 values. So let's see. Um, enemy movement. Wave manager. This. Enemy health data has that. Uh, image and reward. Okay. So the flyer is done. Let's go. Let's get them from the top. So this one, this one, this one, and the one above. Okay. Let's go to the healer. One, two. Three and wait, that's it. Internal. Wait, what is this missing? Enemy health, enemy movement, enemy reward, and enemy damage. Yeah, it doesn't deal damage. That's right. Okay, medium. Uh. One here, one here, this one, and this one. And the last one, the small, let's fix this one too. Let's see if I still have that multiplier. Yeah, so I have a, a multiplier for the... Oh, I'm stupid. I said the damage, not the health. I think it was working, but I set it up wrong. Shit. Okay. Let's see now. Let's put a weapon fast in here. Okay. Go, 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 go. We should have flying enemies by now. Yep, we do. Let's look at one of them and we should have like a lot of health for it now. Uh, where is the health component? Yep, now we have 500 as, uh, as I expected. Yep, so, so it, it was working. Um, I just um, I just chose the, the, the wrong stats when I, when I play the multiplayer. So that actually worked. We've actually uh, removed some code from here, which is amazing. Um, yeah, that was like the last piece. Removing that that wave manager because now it's the, the wave manager is a, it's a service, so it's a scriptable object. It's not it's no longer tied to the to the scene, so it can it it can be assigned directly. Cool.
and we can compare. So this enemy should be in full health, and this one should not have full health. Uh, oh yeah, because I, I've yeah I forgot I set it up back so so they are not taking damage from the from the projectile weapon. God damn it. Let's put another enemy there. What the hell? Uh, or add another type of enemy. Uh, level editor, this, this, flyer, whatever. Let's just... No, let's just uh, replace this with... Uh, what? Medium, let's say. Uh, let's remove the multiplier and save. Yeah, exit prefab mode. So this one should take damage from the from the projectile weapon. Uh, let's put a weapon there. Oh, god damn it. I needed to be here. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's pause. Let's. Oh, they are already here. Actually, uh, I don't need to track it. I'm just gonna wait for them to show up here. And they're not taking damage, that's fucking amazing. Oh, because I have to say that they can take damage from both types. God damn it. Third time's the charm. Let's see if it works. Pause. No, I can't pause. I have to go fast, 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 fast. Let's put the weapon there. Cool. So, do this. Okay, now it's attached to the tower. Now, let's wait for them to pass the reach somewhere like right here. And stop. Okay, so this one should have full health. Hopefully. No, it doesn't have full health. But this one should... Wait, this has... What? This one has full health. This one is damaged. Uh, wait, what? Uh, I have to take this call. I'll be right back. Sorry for this. I have to take that call. Um, yeah. So, uh, what the hell is going on here? I think I think I I, I may have an idea. I I think the so, some enemies were not uh, affected by the by the weapon because the the, the projectile weapon right now has a uh, has a low fire rate. And they might just they might just just pass through through here and they did not get targeted yeah but yeah but we 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 uh, we, we have seen it work so i'm not gonna test it uh, anymore right now this is this is actually nice um Yeah, the last thing that I want to do is um, yeah, the last thing that I want to do is um, here or here. Uh, I want to look at a 
what do I want to do this? So I have enemies in range. I think I'm gonna do another array, which is gonna be um, healers in range. So I know those will have health. Um, so I'm gonna do an if enemy. Oh, I can use it. I can use try. Ah, shit. Um, so var, uh, var, uh, wait a minute, var, ah, come on, uh, var, um, oh no, I can't, because I can look for the, the data, and actually the data is what I need, oh yeah, 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 so if enemy dot try, ah, oh, goddammit, Try get component and it's gonna be healer healer data out of our healer data healer in range dot add healer data and yeah this has to be healer data like so and the same thing for the exit if it has that gonna uh, remove it remove it and now what we want to do is on weapon exit we want to check so if uh, healers in range dot if any heal if there's any healer in range which is active we want to do a return here so we want to we we don't want to deploy ourselves in this spot if there's already a healer uh in this spot so let's do the setup for this so we should uh what i'm gonna do is add another another enemy it's gonna be another healer he doesn't let me have two healers. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we can do it. So let's do a count of two, I guess. Spawn rate. Uh, let's do something. Actually, just um, something like this. Doesn't even matter. Okay. Now let's play. We should have two healers, one after the other. I mean, there, there, it's gonna be a, a gap between them, but so there's one. Let's put a web. Ah, I hope he goes the the, the same way as the, the this one. Yeah, it did. Okay, so this is going yada yada. He should deploy right there, and it did. Now let's wait for this one, and he should fa uh, move past that. Should not deploy there, and he did not. But he should deploy here. So he entered the weapon and he should deploy right here. Damn. Nice. Cool. So that's, uh, this is actually really cool. So we have a, um, yeah, we have healers. Uh, we have the healers and they're not stacking. That is nice. Okay. So now I think I think everything is done for the healers, or at least what we have planned. Um, I think we can stop with this task. And to be honest, I don't know if I want to do anything else. Um, let's just round this up to three hours. Um, yeah, this took a little bit longer than I thought, but doesn't really matter. We have we have healers in the game, which is which is the the big win the big win. Okay, let's uh, let's commit this. I don't think I'm gonna do code review. To be honest, I don't really care right now. Yeah, I don't think I've modified anything that would require me to. Yeah, no, just screw it. So feature create healer enemy. 
uh, this one and also let's link it to the original task which is 140 feature feature like so okay publish cool so uh, let's go back so we have the healer enemy that is this is actually pretty cool we have all the all the enemy types that we've planned for so far um yeah okay now what should we do I think I'm, I think we're gonna do this one. This is a simple one. Now let's let's quickly do this one. So the problem is that if we go to an enemy spawner, oh, this might not be that simple actually. If we use a timer, we do not. It doesn't look like we. Yeah, nice. We do not use a timer. Cool. Oh, oh yes, we do. Uh, actually, no, the update. No, no, it's fine. So here, uh, we need to take into consideration the game speed. Uh, I think I have to... Uh, private game speed manager, I think. Yeah. Game speed manager. Serialize field. So here we should multiply by this dot delta time. No, not delta time. Uh, speed multiplier. Oh, no. Actually, yeah, that's right. We can use the delta time. This delta time. That's it. So the problem is that uh, so we have a timer which which spawns the enemy, uh, the the enemies um, um, after yeah with 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 the, with the delay between each of them, but the timer the timer was not taking into consideration the fact that we can't speed up the game. So that was the problem. It was actually a quick fix. I, I I'm not even gonna test it because I know it. Okay, I'm gonna just play it. Yeah, no, no, I sh should have definitely tested it because I have to assign that. Yep, 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 yep. I have to assign the. Um... Where is the spawner, though? Good question. Where is the. Where's the enemy spawner? Oh, here. Cool. I have to assign the, the game speed manager. Yep. And here I was thinking that that was the the, the whole fix, and I could uh, just push it. Oh, okay. Now it works. So as you can see, there's a there's a uh, even even space between between those even though they were spawned at different uh, rates I guess like the time was sped up but uh, but they they were spawned uh, correctly so this is a fix publish okay. let's take another bug I don't like this one Let's try to do this one, I guess, maybe. So, so problem that I've noticed is that you can, uh, let's play and let's see if we can reproduce it. 
actually I know how to reproduce it. So here, I think I can click here. Yep. So I, I click through the tower and I, I managed to, to hit the, 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 the weapon slot, which is not correct. Oh, this is not correct. What? Uh, that's a bug. Uh, there is a bug. Yeah, uh, we're gonna come back to this, but this one. So yeah, we can we can click through the tower, so that's no good. Um, let's look at the. Let's see. Um, we have a layer for the tower. We do not. Um, I think there is a layer here that I can define. Yeah, weapon slot layer. Can I select multiple? I'm. Oh yes, I can. Okay, so I'm going to make a layer, uh, which is gonna be tower. Yes. And here, I, I'm going to say that I can also hit the tower. And, ah, shit, what I have to do, I guess, is go through all of those. The cylinders do not have colliders. Thing. Should be a tower. Or it should be tower. Okay. I'll have to make it so they don't collide with each other. I have to set it up in the physics settings. Okay, uh, let's do that right now. So project settings, physics, the tower won't collide with the tower. Okay. And the other thing is gonna be weapons not or uh, on click. Yeah, this is kind of stupid, but yeah, this this will work. Now I should not be able to to, to click through the tower. Uh, yep, 
I can no longer click through the tower, but I can click directly on this and it still works. Nice. Cool. Okay, another bug fixed. Six minutes. Um, yeah, that is not cool. Uh, let's Select something real quick. Let's do this. Um, yeah, and uh, there are some other things that we need to do. I don't think I wanna. I wanna work on them today. I mean, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't really wanna work anymore, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do another stream tomorrow. And we're gonna continue with this, with, with those tasks. Hopefully, we're gonna finish them. Um, yeah, we should be able to finish them because there's not a lot of things to do. Maybe the, the, the yeah, the, the upgrade functionality for the weapons might take a while to do. Maybe uh, we'll have to see, but uh, yeah, it might. Yeah, we, we will see, but. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop the stream here for now. We've already been been working for four hours. So, hey, Morhan. Um, yeah, we're gonna stop here. But uh, yeah, yeah, it took it took a while for 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 us to to make the the, the healer enemy and the, the the bug at the I mean not the bug but my my stupidity at the start of the stream with the with the error on pause, which took us like. 30 minutes to figure out why it was not working but yeah i think we, we've done a great job for today it uh this healer enemy is quite interesting one, one thing that 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 will make him stand out is uh having the 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 health of the enemies uh, displayed in the game because right now you can't really tell that this this enemy uh heals um the others oh we need to make a, blah, 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 a weapon we ha actually we ha I haven't tried with the with the laser so let's see if it works it should work it doesn't really matter yep so after the weapon is do was done it got in there Damn, it's shiny. <laughs> because I've made it very smooth. smooth. Uh, they're gonna die. Yeah, the, the laser is overpowered as hell. Cool. Yeah, so, so uh, I'm gonna stop the stream here and we're gonna continue tomorrow with uh, the other tasks. With uh, those three, those three bug fixes, and uh, we're gonna do the spear, the spear weapon with, without its special ability. Only the we're just gonna make them. Yeah, we're just gonna uh, split the, the projectile weapons into the crossbow and the spear, uh, and then we're gonna do the UI and the, the upgrade functionality for the weapons. This is gonna be a, a huge one. I mean, not, not huge in the sense that it's gonna take a while, but uh, it's gonna be very good for the game. Because you you'll be able to play the game uh, on on higher levels uh, just by 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 having more powerful weapons. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna stop the stream here, and I'm, we're gonna continue tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for being here, and see you next stream. Bye bye.